Talk about personal ups and downs of an astronaut. How did I manage myself? Well, I, I ran into, there, I mean, a good example is in 1986. Uh, my wife and I got married young. We met in high school, and we got married while I was still in university. And by the time she was 25, we had three kids. And I was a second lieutenant in the Air Force, making no money. Our kids were three, one, and zero. It was madness in our house. And my wife came from a family as an only child. She had, I mean, she, I, she had no idea that it was going to be like this. And, uh, and I was really busy with work. And then the Challenger um, space shuttle exploded uh, in January of 1986 on its way up. And I had been kind of help and drag my family towards the idea of they someday being an astronaut. And I just, that was one of the times that I just, I just gave up. I said, there's just, you know, that's a nice idea, but that idea of perfection is never going to happen. I need to focus on something else. So what else really interests me? And I said, well, I, would, I love travel. I love solving complex problems. I love flying airplanes. I love getting, I want to get a decent wage. I just kind of set a set of things that I want. I said, I'll be an airline pilot. It, it's, it fits into my skill set and my nature. And so I signed up to start taking um, all the things necessary to get my airline transport ratings. But my wife said, hey, we still are doing okay. You know, we have food, we have shoes on our feet. And just because they've had this setback at NASA, it's not necessarily all over. And if you decide right now to give up on the things that are important to you because of a transient set of circumstances, you will regret it for the rest of your life. And, and if you regret it for the rest of your life, whether you think it about it or not, psychologically, it'll, take, it'll have an impact on you. And it will be a, an irritant under your saddle for the rest of your life too. And you'll partially blame the family because of the exigencies of life getting in the way. Um, and so I think part of my luck has been marrying a really strong person. And we, neither of us have ever defined who we are by the other person's profession. I, I would, my wife's a chef. I would never, if someone said, what do you do for a living? I would never say, oh, I'm a chef's husband. That's not who I am. My wife would never say, oh, I'm an astronaut's wife. That's not who she is. And, and I think uh, one of the real luckiest things I did was to, uh, was to join forces with, with somebody else who was supportive and, and someone else to tell me when I'm behaving like an idiot and, and to, uh, to go through life with. And, but accept that things are not going to go as planned, but always be ready for when fate slaps you in the side of the head and be ready to take advantage of it, I think. And constantly, never be satisfied with how good you are at anything. Constantly be looking to become more competent. You know, it's, it's totally up to you, but all you can really do is get ready for stuff. That's what life is, getting ready for stuff. And, and you can always continue to get a little more ready for things and then see what opportunity brings. And every skill you have lets you stand just a little bit higher so that, you, so that not only are you more capable of doing things, but you appreciate the things when you come along. Like if somebody just ran up here and had a little bit of, I don't know, black forest cake on a spoon and stuffed it in your mouth, and said, there, you've had black forest cake. You might go, oh, that was good. But then if someone said, we are going to spend the next week learning how to make the best black forest cake in the world, and you, you gathered all the raw materials, and you figured out, and you learned the skill, and you made 10 or 15 of them that didn't work out, and then you finally baked a black forest cake that was perfect, and then you tasted that one, and you went, wow, that one's, that one's got all those nuances, that one's better. The taste in your mouth is the same. But the effect on you is hugely different. And who you are as a result of it is different. And you, so I sort of do everything that way. But I, I don't know how to make black forest cake.